Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is throwing out on Windows 11 build 26120.3281, also known as the KV50-52086. These changes are available in the dev and better channels, and some of the improvements are only available for the Copilot Plus PCs. Okay, let's dive into the changes for this latest preview of Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Now, before proceeding, just for transparency, I'm going to be switching between computers because some of the features are rolling out gradually and I don't have them all in one computer. This update introduces the resume feature in the dev channel which Microsoft also refers to as Word Across Devices. When you enable this feature from the Resume page, if you start working on a document on your OneDrive account on your phone, this could be Android or iPhone, after you unlock the computer within five minutes of working with the file, a notification will appear on the desktop to pick up where you left off on your computer. It is important to note that when you click that notification, the file or the document that you're working on will open on the online version of the application instead of the one that you have installed on your computer. Also, you must be using a Microsoft account across devices in order for this feature to work. And this doesn't work on your work and school accounts. And it is only supported on Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and PDF files. If you don't like to use this feature on apps for Zoom, you can turn this off. Okay, so now I'm connecting remotely to my Copilot Plus PC, and I want to show you the new changes that Microsoft is doing to the Windows Recall feature. Now, when you open the Recall file from the system tray, you will notice a new option, which is this one right here, that will allow you to filter the app or website from being recorded on Windows Recall. So this is a screenshot. I do have Recall right here on this computer, but in this particular installation, I still don't have that option. So that's why I'm showing you the official screenshot from Microsoft. Microsoft also notes that this update will delete your current snapshots to improve the user experience with the feature. Now let's talk a little bit about the changes that Microsoft is implementing for Windows Recall, but the company didn't actually mention them. Now for the rest, I'm going to switch from the dark to the light mode so you can see that better. So I'm just going to go to personalization and then I'm going to change to the light theme. And now let's just open the Windows Recall feature. And one thing that you're going to notice is that this release is updating the interface to use the Mika Alt material across the frame, menus, and the different elements. On this updated version for Recall, we are also going to notice that when selecting text or an image from the snapshots, we get a new context menu that has more pronounced rounded corners. And we can see this type of rounded corners across different elements. So for example, right here, if I use a timeline, you're going to see how the design has been updated. Also, if we do a search, we're going to see that the interface has also been updated with the Nika material design and also notice like different effects across the interface. You can notice the rounded corners and we can also see the inconsistency for the other context menu. So this one still uses the modern context menu, but it is a different design. We can see that here and right here. Now, just to give you another example, here's a more complete context menu with the rounded corners. Now, the new visual changes make Windows Recall a little more modern and friendly. However, the rounded corners and the little designs that Microsoft is adding to Windows Recall, they don't match with the existing design available across the operating system. So for example, just look at the context menu for Windows Recall. So we can see that the rounded corners are more pronounced and even selecting an item in includes parameter corners. However, if we switch to the desktop, for example, we're going to see that the context menu is completely different. Yes, it uses the same Mika material design, but it is different. And I'm not even including an all the other parts of the operating system that we still have access to the legacy context menu. So this just makes the operating system design more inconsistent. Now, starting with the bill 26120.3281, the software giant is also adding a new option to share files directly from the jump list on the taskbar. So when you right click an app that supports these features such as Notepad, when you right click on it and we access the jump list, when you hover over a file, you're all also going to notice a new share button that allows you to share this file directly. And from here, you can choose how you want to share a specific file. 
On this release, Microsoft is also updating the snap layout with inline description to help users understand how to use a feature. So for example, if I open File Explorer and I drag it to the top, you're going to see that the flyout now includes some text that will help you to use this specific feature, not only in this flyout, but also if you open the flyout directly from the window and you can see the text right here. Okay. Now. So on File Explorer, Microsoft is also adding a few updates. So now if you right click the start backup option, you're going to have the option to turn off the reminder, or you can have the system to give your reminder to start a backup in a month. Also, if we go to the folder options, and then we go to the view tab, when you check this option, which is not new, has been part of the operating system for a long time, the File Explorer also is going to remember the tabs that you have open on your computer. So after you restart the computer, and if you have this option turned on, not only the system is going to restore the File Explorer windows and also your open tabs. Furthermore, if we go to the settings tab and then we go to accounts, signing options, if you have this option turned on, it will automatically turn this feature on if it is not already enabled. Now, if you happen to have a PC Game Pass on the homepage for the settings app, you are now going to get this updated card that gives you an option to invite your friends to test the subscription for free. And finally, this particular update also introduces some changes for the Windows Spotlight feature. So for example, the icon now appears on the bottom right corner and you can see that the interface has been updated with more rounded corners and you can still sample the different wallpapers that you can set on your desktop. In addition, when you click the like button for an image on the lock screen, you will be able to find more information about that specific image. And that's it. Those are the most significant changes that we're going to see on Bill. 26120.3281, also known as the KV505286. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Remember to like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.